I haven't done a triple P in a while and I think it's time to dust off that theme music and get this thing popping. But shout out to Blackjack21 for sending me the story and let me tell y'all something right now. I already skimmed through a piece of this article and y'all are going to laugh your ass off when y'all hear about this story right here. Because when I was looking at it, I'm like, okay, who is this? What is this about? Then when I read a little bit into it, I said, oh yeah, I got it. I, you just know how you read something a little bit and you say, okay, yeah, I got to stop a little bit, turn the uh, little recorder on and do my thing. So this woman's name right here, her name is Jennifer Marie Heinel. And she's with this man in the picture by the name of Kenneth Grayson. And as you can see, she has a Trump hat on and everything like that. But she went to the invasion of the Capitol back in January. And you know, she was there doing whatever it is that she was doing. But here's the plot twist. This man that she's with, well, hold on. Before I get into the plot twist, Jennifer is married, y'all. And I'm mad because I jumped into the plot twist a little bit too soon. But the plot twist is that this right here, this guy that she's taking this picture with, is not her husband. Yeah, this is not her husband. As a matter of fact, her husband is a detective and has been for the last 30 years. And his name is Michael Heinel, not Kenneth Grayson. But the funny part about this whole story is, is that after seeing this picture and it getting exposed that she was there at the at the invasion, not with him, not that he would have been there anyway, because I believe they said he warned her not to go, but she went anyway. It's the fact that she took a picture with another man that's not him. And he has now filed those papers. Y'all know exactly what papers I'm talking about. So now this woman most likely will end up in jail and without both of these men, her husband and whoever this guy is. But let's go ahead and get into this article. Sources say a Pennsylvania police detective has filed for divorce from his wife after she was seen in videos taking part in the U.S. Capitol riot with another man. According to Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, Michael Heino, a 30-year veteran of the Shaler Township Police Department, filed the papers in the Allegheny Court, County Court of Common Pleas last month after he begged his partner, Jennifer Marie Heino, not to fly to the nation's capital on January 6th, but she did anyway. His wife has now been charged with violent entry and disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds, as well as parading, protesting, or picketing in a Capitol building. Kenneth Grayson, who was seen in videos talking to Jennifer inside the rotunda, was used by the FBI to identify her. <laughs> wow. Another plot twist. <laughs> wow. She, listen, she, listen, she just set herself up for punishment all the way around. On January 26, Grayson was apprehended in Pennsylvania and charged with insurgency. According to the Post-Gazette, a search of his Facebook profile showed correspondence between the two of them from November 12, 2020 to January 11, 2021. So they've been talking for a while. Hmm. Hmm. And this is their meetup spot. The newspaper said their conversation revolved about going to D.C. and renting cars and hotel rooms. Hmm. Something tells me they wasn't going to Netflix and chill. Michael, a member of the FBI's violent crimes task force in pittsburgh told the chief that his wife had been present during the riots frank explained his wife was a part of that situation adding that he didn't condone it he didn't ask her to go there he wasn't there he was here working he speculated that the detective was probably unaware that his wife had entered the capital frank said she's an adult and i don't think he had any part in her going there According to an affidavit quoted by the Post-Gazette, Jennifer told the feds that she flew alone to the Capitol on January 5th and returned the next day to Pittsburgh. Of course, we know that was not the case because, well, as you can see. According to an affidavit quoted by the Post-Gazette, Jennifer told the feds that she flew to... Oh, um, excuse me. I'm, re I'm, so, I'm so in tune with this damn article that I misread and almost read the same thing twice. She admitted to the FBI that she had stayed in a courtyard hotel but it was not the same one as grayson she acknowledged seeing grayson at the rally but denied going to the capitol that day this woman is just a habitual liar marty deets her attorney said to make it clear i've known jenny heino a long time and she's not a criminal she's deeply embarrassed uh well she committed a criminal act 
she first of all she could she committed a criminal act by going there and doing what she did and engaging in activity and then she stepped out really on her marriage like she really like defied her husband's orders and telling her not to go and she went anyway she didn't tell him that that's where she was going she probably said she was going somewhere for whatever reason and that she'll be back and then she gets caught in the clutches of another man who by the way was used to identify her because when he got caught they said okay who is this oh that's her and then only also find out that she's been talking to this guy since november so you're talking about she's been talking to this guy for almost two months before they officially met in person and that they rented out a hotel together hmm i wonder if her husband was a was a biden supporter and that's why <laughs> i don't know but i thought this was funny and he said I, bump that I'm filing these papers and good luck. Hopefully your little friend or whoever can get you out of that situation. But it looks like he's jammed up too. So good luck to you both. But I thought this was pretty damn funny. I thought this was interesting that, you know, all of this just kind of comes full circle. But it is what it is. And that's exactly what she gets. She got caught slipping. She was trying to creep and got caught slipping. It is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments, like, share, subscribe. If you have not done so already, make sure that you text the number that is pinned down in the comments below. And I will, and I will, so you can get notifications every time I upload a new video or go live. <laughs>